Uh, well, hello. In this video, we're going to talk about how we can create multiple nested custom functions and how they can help us uh, maintain code readability and uh, lower the overall complexity of the code, but still uh, allow us to create and maintain a high uh, dynamic or strong dynamic robust scripts. Uh, so let's start with the example. So we have, let's go to our local disk C. So let's say that we have multiple regions with multiple retailers in each region. And we are not aware of the total number of retailers, not nor regions, but we wish to somehow dynamically append all the, all the uh, uh, all the already available and new retailers and uh, uh, regions into a table. So let's say that we have this region C inside of it. We have two retailers, Eddie and Marco Toys. Uh, they all have similar structure. So they all have this uh, first, first column with the names of the cities in US. And then they have these uh, types of products. So basically what we need to do, we need to unpivot every table and then do some uh, cleaning. We need to remove, remove grand total filter. We need to filter out the grand total row and then we need have to append all these steps. Uh, we will show you step by step. We'll gradually increase the complexity of the code, but it will still be uh, it will still be much lower complexity compared to creating a single script for the for this purpose. So let's start with the first step. Uh, first step is to open a blank Excel and let's go and connect to any of the files. So let's say that we let's say that we want to connect to this super toys and we will connect only to, let's say, New Jersey. And let's go to the transform data. We will use uh, this sheet uh, to create the first custom function. And in that custom function, we want to, uh, let's say, we want to first filter out the grand total row. And then we want to unpivot other columns. And let's say that this is a city column and this is a type column. Uh, we have a script. Now we have to transform that script into a function. We will use a custom amp function. We will not use this right click and transform or create function because in my opinion, uh, this is a much ver more versatile uh, feature than having, having, to, uh, having to recite on the built-in amp power query functions. So let's go to advanced editor and we have to add the input variable. Let's call this um, input input table. And this input table, this variable should enter our function in one step, or in the first step. But this step will always change. So it will not always be uh, the region A, it can be also region B and C and any other that uh, appear. So we will remove this step and also the New Jersey sheet, it will not be always the same. So we'll also remove this step. The input table should input in the step called promoted headers and instead of this hard coded address to New Jersey sheet. So anything that we provide as an input table, we will enter this function and get its uh, a table promoted with brought the headers, then filtered rows and all the others, all, all the other applied steps. So let's click on done. Uh, let's call this uh, FX clean. FX clean. The following, what we need to do, if we want to uh, clean only a single folder, we should connect to that folder. So this is also uh, pretty straight straightforward and something that you uh, you all have been used to do. So let's connect to a folder and we will connect to a folder region C. And in that region, we have two files, two Excel files. Uh, we have edit toys and Marco toys. 
we we are only interested in the name column and the content column so let's remove other columns and the content column is holding a binary type and this binary is actually holding the excel file so each binary is holding the excel file uh, first let's extract only the name of the retailer we do not need this this dot xlsx so we'll go to transform and we will go to extract uh, text before the limiter and let's say that the limiter is uh, uh, the following thing we have to do we need to extract the objects from an excel workbook those can be uh, those can be tables uh, sheets named ranges print areas etc so let's go to add com column and let's add a custom column and we'll call this uh, excel objects and let's say that this is excel workbook function and we want to invoke those this function upon the content column and the second argument or do we want to promote headers we'll set this to false let's click on ok now we have our table objects so each excel file is holding these sheets and we are all interested in all those sheets so we will expand these objects and let's keep only uh, the name and the data one the name and the data uh, uh, columns so now we have the name of the uh, of the country let's call this country and we have a raw data so each of these tables hold the raw data that needs to be cleaned with the fx clean function so now let's go to transfer uh, to add column and let's invoke our custom function and we'll choose the only one and we will choose to invoke it upon the data column the, the column that, the, that is uh, holding our uh, tables or our dirty tables we click on ok we get our cleaned tables so we no, we no longer need this data column and we want to expand the column uh, containing the nested cleaned tables so far so good and this is something that you, you were used to do the only thing that is a tweak in this video is that we wish to invoke this function or we wish to invoke this query for every additional region. So every additional folder, that, that folder might not reside even on our C drive. It can be on OneDrive, it can be on company server, so it can be in any place. So we want to have a fine and fast solution that can easily be and that can be dynamic and that then that we can use to easily add different regions in order to do that first we need to change this query also to a function so let's go to home advanced editor and let's add another variable and we'll call this uh, input input path and let's say that this is entering our function and where does it enter it enters instead of this hard-coded path to region C so instead of this hard-coded path we say that anything we provide as an input path will get all those steps applied and in one of those steps we can see that we have a nested custom function that we created early earlier this is the the main the main idea that you should, you should take away from this video the idea is to maintain the code readability because in this step we are cleaning only a single excel uh, sheet in this function or in this uh, step or in this variable we are cleaning all the files in a folder and now the last step would be to invoke this function on each path that we provide so let's call this uh, clean all regions function and we need to provide a helping a helper table uh, we will use we will use an excel table so let's call this a region a region and let's call this path and we have region a region b and region c uh, those uh, they have paths pretty similar it's c uh, region A and then we have region B and region C uh, 
to be able to get this data in Power Query, we need to insert a table or create a table upon this data. Let's call this table uh, locations. And now we have to go to data tab and from table range that will load this table to a Power Query. We have it in a Power Query. The last thing that we have to do, we have to invoke our clean or regions function upon each row of this table. So we go to add column, invoke custom function, and we choose the clean all regions upon the path column. And here they are. We have all the regions with all the sheets cleaned in a single step. Let's, in, let's um, enlarge this. And we need we do not log, we no longer need these columns, and let's close and load this to a power pivot. So this is the combination: only create connection and add this data to the data model. This is the combination to create a power pivot model. So we click on OK. We will load this data to a power pivot model, and after we click on insert. Uh, let's add locations. Let's go with. Uh, let's add region. Uh, let's add name and let's add country. So in all, if we were to add a new retailer, let's say that Tony T Toys uh, are entering our region A. Let's say uh, we only need to refresh our query, and we will receive that retailer Tony Toys in region A and if we uh, receive or if we have a need for another region let's call this a region new region new and in that region we will add uh, let's add additional retailers and let's add uh, wingtip toys let's go to region C let's go to region new uh, the only thing that we have to do, we have to add that region new to our table. So C region new and again refresh will include those uh, retailers and those regions also. Uh, this is a simple solution. It's dynamic, it's robust and it's showing you how you can combine custom columns or uh, custom functions in order to create a higher magnitude functions that are more versatile and stronger and more robust and that can be used in many different uh, situations. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions please post them down below. If you like the video hit like subscribe button and see you in the next video. Bye!